Hi Entropians, it's me, Mikhail, and guess where I am? Bye bye! Well, you were right, I'm on Arcadia. Can you be a little more specific? Now, I'll tell you. I'm at the Eight Coins Teledon camp, and I'm in my disco with five bees, because we are going to go hunting for these cute, adorable little critters over here called Teledon Youngs and such. And I think we're going to try and scan one for you so you can get an idea of what they look like with my trusty Nebesh Scanner 100 <laughs> that I got from Toulon a long time ago, though. I think the one time I went to Toulon. Um... I might have been there twice, okay? I'm just saying what happens in Toulon stays in Toulon. Oh, that big tail. Look at that. Oh, that's a scary. Oh, he's kind of cute, though. I know I've been out here. I know I've hunted these things before, probably in a group, because it was a while ago. Um, it has been a long time. So I really didn't even remember what these things looked like or where they were. I got a waypoint from a friend. Uh, and they're slow. So we might be able to back up and shoot them to avoid getting hit. And I don't know. I mean, looking at the sat nav, there's a pretty good sized spawn here. It might be worth it to use my tagging gun to pull them off one by one to you know, kind of isolate myself so that I don't get slaughtered. Um, I think I'm going to go up on this hill here. Oh yeah, he didn't even... Is he following me? No. I didn't even get his aggro. I could have swore I'd be close enough. So, a nice... um. Whoops, mid range. See, there's my run to target. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Trekkie's Delight. These are nice little guns. I may have talked about this in another video. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive I did. And I use it as a mid range tagger. It's a Rock Tropian gun. Um, you have to be a level 16 to use it. And. It does decent damage, you know, look at 27 to 54 a shot, but only 41 shots a minute. Kind of slow for a rifle. But, you know, it's got a 79 meter range, so that's actually pretty good. And as we learned in a different video, I can put that down, uh, out to this ring here, of course, hover over my sat nav, that's annoying. You hover over your sat nav, and it gives me the taxes because I want to see that every time I hover over my damn sat nav. Okay, anyway, go out to the second ring, and that's about 40 meters. So, you know, we can pretty much shoot anything within the sat nav radius, pretty much. All of these, all of these we could shoot. So, yeah, that's kind of neat. We'll take that one right there. We just want to pop him once to get his aggro. Ooh, he's coming at me pretty quick. And then I shall start shooting. And oh, he is kind of fast. But we'll see how the disco does. Um, I was told I could probably use my grem gremlin with five Bs. And that occasionally these things hit hard. But again, we'll, we'll try it out with the disco. And I'm really after the feet. If the youngs don't drop the feet, I'm going to have to go look for some bigger ones. And then those, I'm sure, will hit me harder. Oh, I got a perception! Now this is what I normally do for my perception. I press P. Why? It gives me a waypoint. Okay. Oh, good God. And I'm sitting here with all this buffage in my inventory from my Christmas, I mean my Easter boxes. I don't even know what holiday it is anymore. No idea. But I am going to eat a loot pill for sure. Uh, what do these do? Oh, skill gain, 10%. I'll eat one of those too. I 
I mean, we've got quite a few shots, but honestly, I'm not going to be out here that long tonight. Because, uh, I'm a wee bit tired. You guys always catch me at my bedtime, which is, in a way, it's a good thing because this is when I like to talk. I get real gabby when my brain starts turning to mush. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got a loot pill. I can just hit next target. <sighs> Hi there. My name's Mikhail. How are you doing? Yikes. Okay, so anyway, that I pressed P, so I scroll up, and I click it. That throws the waypoint on my sat nav, on my map, because that's where I got that perception. So I'm going to want to pay attention and if I don't get anything in these mobs that were on my sat nav, I will circle back and hit that spot again, and hopefully there's a mob spawn there, and I'll see if I can pick up something yummy. And once I put this critter down, all I'm really going to do is hit next target, um, because I've got my loot pill, so that'll take care of anything that I might normally have to manually loot. And I'm really not concerned with the order of shooting. I mean, if I get too far from my perception, I'll turn around and head back that way. It's really not, not a big deal to worry about it. At least not for me. If I start seeing more perceptions, a lot of times they create a line. I mean, almost a straight line right across your map. And if you follow that, in either direction, usually you find some kind of decent loot. Um, at least that's been my experience. I'm sure there are players out there that would tell you that I'm insane and I'm losing my mind, but you know what? It's worked for me, and I've been hunting in this game. I've probably been using this kind of a tactic for, oh gosh, four years now is when I noticed the pattern. Because that's one thing about, you can talk about game algorithms, and you can talk about randomization and code, but honestly, there's, there's always going to be some kind of a pattern. They can't randomize every aspect of the game, it just, it just wouldn't make any sense. It would take all of the fun out of it, then I might as well drive myself up to the Indian Reservation and give the locals my money. <laughs> but, um, I really think that there are patterns in this game and they can be different for different players but this is a particular tactic that a friend of mine and I use especially when we're team hunting and it's always done pretty well for us um, I have never gotten a super high ATH or anything but I've gotten you know 700 ped I think was my highest hunting loot so far uh, I'd have to look on Entro Entropia Tracker or Entropia Planet website, whatever it's called. But it just makes it fun for me if I can watch for a pattern and then follow it along and then be rewarded by finding the loot that's being tipped off to me. I just like puzzles, I guess would be the good way to put it. Now I'm going to stop right there, because that perception is here, so I'm about 100 meters away-ish, and I had another perception here that I didn't mark, I wasn't paying attention to. Shit, I missed it. What else? Then I added that to the map. I only had those two perceptions, but I would bet money that they were in a, that the other one was probably right about here. And it was leading me to him. Leading me to you. And I can even tell you what what I got because, well, actually I'll just zip back and we can look later. 
But that was exciting, and I even missed how much it was. <laughs> Because I didn't have my globals on. Because I suck. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. I Yeah, I want to look. I want to look and see what loot I got. And how do I do that, you ask? How do I go back in time? Well, it's simple. I have Entropia Tracker. And it takes a picture when I global. That is the honest to goodness truth. Um, I just have to write, find the right folder. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, where is it? Are you kidding me? I can't look right now. I can't. It's it's buried in my folders, but. Uh, if I pull up my tracker software, it'll say it's already running. It wasn't running. Oh my god. Or maybe it was. I'll be so disappointed if it wasn't running. I hate myself. I hate myself. It wasn't running. Okay. Well, anyway, thank god I was recording this video. <laughs> So that I captured my loot so I could see what I got. I know I got a lot of stuff. I know I did. Um, it would be helpful if I got... Oh, now someone's hitting me. Shit. This is what happens. I don't want to die. <laughs> like I did. Like I did on Rocktropia. Oh, talking about my chip. And I'm so excited because I looted a chip. And then, oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> And you know someone gave me a thumbs down for that video. I'm like, what? Why? Because I couldn't tell you anything about the zombies besides this is where they are and they're not that hard to kill and there's a newer one somewhere else? Oh well. Nobody's perfect, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, this is super exciting. I'm having a lot of fun doing this because I like to talk. And I like to drink water. And I like to get these Teledons dead. And I should be watching my lines. It's really the goal here. And I do drag my window out a little larger because it's easier to see the short lines. Because uh, you want to squish them together so you can just scroll through and see everybody, see how all the lines, and look for the short lines, like that perception that I missed. That's all. And I got two Teledon feet. Yay! That's what I was after. That's what I got going on. Then we'll watch TT twenty six seventy five. Forty four bucks in hide so far. There must be something else. I got a hundred and seventy seven pet of something, didn't I? One twenty four ped. What else is there that's like a big deal? I'm not even sure I'm looking. did I get? I did, it must have been all shrapnel. Yeah, it must have been because I've got 2,800 shots. Hmm. Wow, and 48 pet hide. Hmm. 
Oh, come on now. You're kidding me. Shrapnel, 224.55, 52 in hide. Holy bejesus, and a bullseye 5. Nice! I'm liking that. Liking that a lot. These Teladon are fun. Where have you been all my life, you big hunka hunka? <laughs> I don't know. Where have you been? I've been single and broke. Very nice. Might as well just convert that right away. Boom! 4,000 shots. Well, there's my... There's my double my hunt. Like, double your pleasure, Wrigley Spearmint Gum. That's what that is right there. And before I before I globaled, did I happen to get uh, a perception? Who knows? Got some anatomies. I don't know that I got any perceptions. I mean, yeah, feel free to tell me I'm full of shit, I guess, but... This is impressive that I'm doing so well all of a sudden on these adorable critters that I forgot existed until I went to try and craft a blueprint that I have and went, Teledon foot? Where do I get one of those? <laughs> because there was none on auction. None. So you people that are TTing your Teledon feet, feel free to save up a nice stack of 30 pet or so throw them on auction. Or just give them to me for my birthday. My birthday's in like a week. Unless you look at my Mikhail Facebook, then it's December 10th. But either way, I'll take a birthday gift any day. Just be like, hi, I missed your birthday. I'm real sorry. Here's a Teledon foot. <laughs> More anatomy and coolness. Well, we know I'm cool. I mean, look at my armor, for God's sake. And we are getting into a little thicker spawn here. It's a mature... I don't know how I feel about that. They are cute, though. I wonder... If, when are they going to make a tameable Teladon? That would be fun. They look like they have armor on their heads. Another anatomy. Come on, big money! No whammies! No whammies! All right, I'm sure we'll find something nice here. Come a little closer. They make the cutest noise. I guess I should have been playing with sound for a while now. Stargate music playing in the background? What is that? It doesn't really sound... Well, it kind of sounds like... It sounds like uh, Star Trek Voyager music, too, kind of. Another anatomy. This could be my day. thinking about Star Trek Voyager and Captain Janeway because she actually was one of my heroes. I just adore that show. I don't know why. I can't stand Neelix. 
can't stand Neelix and uh, that Morphin whatever Elfin chick he was with. Didn't really like that. But Captain Janeway and Chipotle <laughs> I know that's not his real name, but it was funny because I'm sitting there thinking in my head, yeah, Captain Janeway and and what's his face, that Indian dude, they were probably, you know, brown chicken, brown cow. And what was his name? Chicote, but I in my head I'm like Captain Janeway and Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> Chipotle is a Mexican restaurant chain here in the United States. <laughs> so yeah, Chicote was the the hot dude on uh, Star Trek Voyager. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I can't believe I pulled that out of my hat. Boy, it's been a long time since I've seen that show. I mean, the only Star Trek I really didn't get into was Deep Space Nine. Never really got into that one. It was just tough. That was my grandfather's favorite Star Trek, and I couldn't stand it. I think it was that ugly, oh, that other morphin dude, what was his name, that guy that would morph into other shapes. Ugh, his skin. And he didn't really have a nose. Ugh, so gross. I couldn't handle it. And, and what was her name, Jax? The he-she? Um with the worm or something, the parasite, I don't remember. Now I'm going to have to read up on it. I'll just give myself something to Google <laughs> in my spare time. And I'm at half health, and honestly, I'm, I'm probably going to fat myself only because I don't need to be critted and dead. And I'm, well, doing pretty good here. Got some evade skill. My gun's almost to level 3, and I don't think I have any economy enhancers lately laying around. That bugs me. And that was quite the assortment. Oh my, he's a big one. to see how many feet I'm up to now. What did they do to our graphics? All the numbers are so small now. I used to be able to just look at a glance. And it, huh, yeah, I have nine. Nine feet. Yay, nine feet. Oh, wait, what was that paint? Oh, no kidding, they dropped burgundy paint. Nice to know. You never know when you're going to need some burgundy paint. Very good. Another anatomy. This could be interesting. And I think I am going to start working my way back towards that other perception. We'll see how far I get. I don't know how long I'm going to stick around. I mean, we've been here 23 minutes, don't tell anybody. I shouldn't have told you that because I know how timeless it can be when it's just you and I together alone in a room. <laughs> Time stands still. <laughs> oh. No whammies. Big money. Did you ever watch that game show when you were a kid? Um, boy, what was it called? Oh, I can picture the screen. They had the lights that went around the edge of the screen, and they screamed, no whammies. 
something luck. Press your luck? No. Is it press your luck? Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, my brother loved that show. My little brother. He loved that show. I think he wanted to be one of those guys that was a whammy. <laughs> I think he wanted one as a pet, maybe. good skills. I mean, when you watch my screen, my skill lines go, I am getting a lot of green lines, and that's a wonderful thing, because, well, in Arcadia is good for that. I mean, if you're a new player, and you want to skill up a little bit, you come to Arcadia, and you do skill a little bit faster. I don't know if it's because you get hit more often, or because the guns shoot faster. I've heard a couple of different theories on that. But I, I know that Disciples seem to graduate faster on Arcadia if they come to Arcadia to finish out their skilling versus staying on Calypso or, you know, God forbid, a different planet. Wow, see? Just hit me for 46. I'm lucky I was healing myself. And this is a young, young whippersnapper, too. He's going to be big and strong someday unless I mount him on my wall. Oops. Oh, that was dumb of me. I gotta finish this guy off. Okay, now we'll get this guy. Oh, congrats on Coram Coast, 113 better. To whomever that was, I didn't catch their name. I was out there and did a video. I didn't get one global the whole time I was out there. It was so uncharacteristic of that land area. I usually do really well when I'm out there. You know, I went out there and just threw my pet away. <laughs> Here you go. But tax, 5% tax, have at it. <laughs> okay, I say... Wow, it's getting late. Um, I think we're going to do one, two, three more, three or four more, and then I'm going to call it good. And that should take us just past the 30 minute mark. I know you guys don't watch every moment of my video, and that's unfortunate because you never know when you're going to miss anything, but I have put some timestamps in some of my videos. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, let's see where we are. Really? I want to run, this is where I use my sat nav to line up, those are the ones I want. And, yep, that's probably the one I want, right there. Now I can adjust, and the other thing, I can't adjust my camera when I'm running, and I don't know why. I thought we used to be able to do that. And it's lost on me, I have no idea. So you have to wait until you, like, stop. And then move your camera. It's quite dumb, really. You should just be able to move your camera whenever you want. And then this that guy looking at me will be next. That one. No, this one. Next, we're going to be going for this one, way right out here. Oh, look at that. So sad. That box that pops up over the sat nav. What? I know it. I guess I knew that it did that, but this is the first time I've tried to point anything out specifically with my mouse on the sat nav. So it's a little annoying. So, I'm going to hit next target till I see that dude light up. I know he's in front of me pretty much. He's kind of behind the hill, I think. Maybe you can't see him. Let's run over there and see how we do.
Well, where is he? Oh, there. Oh, ran right through the rock. Hello, Glitch. Hello. Wow. We are pretty darn close to where I got that first perp. So we'll see what we get here. Anatomy. Come on, no whammies. Oh, I guess it's saying that. It's just, I don't know why that game show stuck in my head from when I was a kid, but I just feel lucky. I've been lucky all day today. I just want to continue the lucky streak. Now, that's where I got my first perk, almost exactly. Well, we'll go see what's down here. And this will be our last one of the night. Another one spawned almost right on top of me. was anticlimactic. Hmm. Nothing right here, really. So I guess that was fun. Got a couple of swirlies. Got a couple of teledon feet, which is what I was after. It's always really a good feeling to get what you're going after. So feel free to get you to get me your application to be my sugar daddy. <laughs> because that would give you a sense of accomplishment and me as well. <laughs> oh, anyway, in the meantime, good luck in Entropia. Uh hunt, Minecraft, have fun, huff big, and we'll see you next time. Bye.